hello guys welcome back to another tutorial of how to implement dsdb routing protocol in ns2 using the tool nsg2 graphically and we will implement the dsdb routing protocol in ns2 so let's get started with our tutorial okay first let's start with creating the nodes using java-jar command to call out the nsg 2.1 version so that we can create our node graphically so in this tutorial i'll show you one and the rest you can refer to my previous video so this is the interface select wireless scenario so from here i will select grid format and then for this node i will take 5 into 10 then distance mean here you have to focus on distance you should give a 50 50 distance so that dsdv will perfectly work if you give more than that distance it may not work so this is how it looks so now i will i will select which will be my source and destination so i'm using tcp for my source so this is my source 1 and this is my source 2 and i will choose the destination using tcp sync so my there will be two destination for for this tutorial implementation so i'm gonna sync this with this and this with this so now we need a application so for file transfer protocol i will take F ftp and i will keep a distance of, of time start and stop time one by three so this will be my ftp protocol then parameters we will come to the parameters then i will give the name since it is for 50 node so i will save this name as dsdv 50 and same goes to that uh, num file which will be created after you execute this file so uh, in this portion you leave as it is but from the routing protocol select dsdb and the rest is same simulation, simulation time i give 15 otherwise it's gonna take a time so dsdb and then done then go to tcl and create the script file now you save this uh, script file in your desired folder and the next step will be to run this file so i'm gonna save this file in in the folder new demonstration so i will name this as uh, dsdv 50tcl so since this file is tcl i have to give tcl then i'm gonna save now you can close this now come back coming back to the folder now i will execute so i will just open my terminal here and to execute i will type a command ns and my tcl file name that is dsdv 50.tcl so my file is successfully executed and let's run this whether the file is getting transferred from source to destination or not so let us check whether it is working or not so here you can see it will work since i have given start and stop time so it will start soon so here you can see the file is getting transferred from source to destination means the packet is delivering from source to destination this is how you can create an or create or you can say you can implement dsdv routing protocol using ns2 this is all platform using ns2 so you have to make sure that so after this now so now uh, since the file is successfully executed now let's check 
taking one parameters which is end to end delay and then we will check after executing you will get two more additional file that is .tr and .num file so this is my end to end awk script from which we will extract the desired data from the trace file so this is my end to end script so let's check whether it will extract the extract my end to end delay or not so for this we have to type this command gwk hyphen f then our script name script name sorry for this uh, i'm not feeling well that's why uh, a gwk hyphen f then end to end script file name then your trace file name since you enter here we go we will we, we generate package this much we receive this much this is our packet delivery ratio and our average end to end delay is this ratio so this is how we can implement dsdv now it's time for us to create the same folder same file for the file for node 1020 i have just fast forward this step for creating uh, 50 30 20 and 10 so that our comparison will look meaningful so i'm just showing this in fast forward for dsdv so the same process will go for the other routing protocol that is aodv and dsr simply you change simply you need to change the routing protocol name and you can do the rest so if you find any difficult doing this uh, for other protocol you can just refer to my previous video which link i will give in the description you just follow that video you will come to know how i implement the other protocol that is aodv and dsdv so let me finish this creating all the 10 20 30 40 nodes so that it will be easy for us for comparison and generate a graph So I'm done creating all the file for the different node. Now let's execute all this file using the same command ns and the file name which you want to execute. So I have to execute each and every code here. So the same process will go for other routing protocol as well and I will come back to you after creating. So this is my final after executing all the DSDB file for the different nodes for comparison. So here you can see. So this will be my files and so for this implementation I'm gonna use end to end AWK script and also for average throughput. So for this node which I have been created 50, 40, 30, 20 and 10 same I will create for the other routing protocol for AODV and DSR and I will come back to you guys so same for these files and all I will come back so this is my all file for AODV DSR and DSDB routing protocol file which is the same process if you feel any difficulty to creating this file you just follow up my previous video the link will be given in the description you just follow the steps and the rest is same I have shown you earlier about how to create DSDB just you need to adjust the distance between the node and the rest will work fine so in this 
tutorial I'm gonna keep the data for end to end and average throughput you can also refer for that how I extract the data and keep in the dead file just simply copy and paste and keep the file in one place so now we will try to plot the graph using GNU plot so this is the command for GNU plot it will be the same for the both the cases for end-to-end -end delay and also for average throughput so here are the command you can see on the screen for plotting the graph here is my x I want to set x label as my number of nodes then also there will be an y-axis so same for the y-axis I have to label as set y label then in the label I have to give for which it indicate so in my case it will indicate end-to-end -end delay the, the ratios it will indicate end to end delay so I have to give in this position then the main part for plotting the graph so I have to go right command plot then the data which I have kept as a dat file dot dat extension so how I copy and paste the data in the dat file you can refer to my previous video you can see how I did so overall the process is same if you have been watching my previous video it is same as like same as before so that's why I have not shown you in details or talk in details about that since it is already been there so so the dat file then we will use using lines using we have to indicate the rows and column particular rows and column we have to select for the graph purpose so this is how we will do uh, 1 is to 2 with lines point title I'm gonna give first this first rows first column indicates AODV routing protocol so I have given AODV save now I will give comma now again I have to give the file name end to end that end to end that this is my file like this my first column is for EODB second column is for DSR and third column is for DSDB so like this this is my data just to not make you confused I just show you I have shown you so this is again I will take uh, end to end dot that now again same using 2 is to 1 is to 3 so I have to keep common as 1 because it indicates the number of nodes and the 3 indicates the third column of the, my data so same using lines point title as I have shown you is DSR so same goes for DSR so for DSDB also same command we have to use end to end dot that using 1 is 2 3 sorry 1 is 2 4 with lines point title I'm gonna give is for DSTV 
title is gst free then give comma and hit enter so this is how you generate a graph for the particular data you can save it, save it as this by clicking this now you you can give this file name as end to end dot the default format for this photo is png format so you simply you can save this file so this this steps and this process goes same for the average throughput for the graph you extract the data then you take that data to mm, compare as a graph you can do it so let's meet after um finishing the after finishing the x label y label now this one will include average delay same process goes for the process goes for average throughput the same command and you will get the desired graph so this is my graph for end to end delay this is the graph for end to end delay you can compare this and take a time and have a look on it to study this graph and also the next graph this is my average graph which shows in this position so only this portion i want to cover it in this video i hope you like it if you like please like this video and share with your friends who really need help in this project for their final year assessment so i hope it will help you so if you need any file any things which you need help from me just contact the email is given in the description just ping me message or mail me i'll get in touch with you so that's all thank you Thank you.